Chabou, mon Dieu. Chabou, ma Dieu.
l'éternel béni soit l'éternel Christ est ma victoire Christ est ma victoire he's my victory 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 claim it he's my victory claim it he's my victory he's my victory activate your faith in this afternoon he's my victory he's my victory He's my victory in the good times and the bad times. Cry out, he's my victory. He's my victory. He's my victory. He's Jesus. He's Jesus. He's Jesus. He's Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Amen, amen. We greet you in the name of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Um, we welcome you to our service. For those who just came in, um, we just want to thank the Lord for each and every person that's here. Amen. We're going to go into a quick prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you so, so much, Lord God, for being who you are, Lord God. You are our victory, Lord God. You are everything, Lord God. There is none like you, Lord God. None can touch our hearts the way you do, Lord God. You took us from our sin and our shame, Lord. And that's why, Lord, we can say you deserve all honor, all glory, all praise, Lord God. There is none like you, Father. There is none like you, Father. None can search our hearts the way you do, Lord God. You see us in our shame. You see us in our mess, Lord God. And you still extend your graceful hand. Father, we thank you, Father, 
We bless your name, Lord God. We thank you for who you are, Father. We thank you for being the King of kings and the Lord of lords, Lord God. Father, there is none like you, Father. We can bestow upon you every name, Lord God, that is yours, Father. But you know your name, Father. You know that you are who you are, Father. You, to you told Moses to tell him before Abraham was, I am. And, and Christ said the same thing, Father. So we thank you for that. We thank you that we worship the triune God, Father, Son, and Spirit, all in one accord, all in one purpose, Lord God, three separate persons, one God, Father. That is our cry, that is our belief, Father, today, Lord God. In the good times and the bad times, you are there. Papa, we are not a good time, Papa. 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 We are not a Papa. Même nous parlons de rien de vous, papa. Des fois, papa, nous rentrons, papa, pour nous finir devant, nous avons présence, papa. Pour tout, papa, iniquité nous fait devant, papa. Nous rentrons, nous connaissons la parole, Seigneur, papa. Mais nous tellement rentrons, Seigneur. Nous prions, oui, pour nous, papa. Tellement nous prions, Seigneur. Papa, nous avons grâce, nous avons ça. We pray for grace in this moment. Father, let's be covered by the blood of the Lamb in this moment, Lord God. Knowing that the same grace, Lord, that was shed upon that cross for us, Lord God, is keeping us right now in the midst of our storms in the midst of our good times, in the midst of what we're going through, during the happy times, during the times of loss, the times of grief, the times of pain, the times of hardship. Many of us are going through suicidal thoughts, depressive thoughts, and we don't even know how to bring it out, Father, because of, of fear of being judged, Lord God. We deal with depression, but we fear, Lord, the critique of our brothers and our sisters inside the church, Lord God, because we know we ought not to feel this way, but we're human beings, Lord. And we can't even pick ourselves up, Father. We pray for grace, Lord, amongst our brothers and our sisters, Lord. That you would bestow upon us brothers and sisters who love us, Lord God. And we have that here at Nassau. We have that here in this ministry, Lord God. We have that here, Father, amongst your people, Lord God. People who care for each other. Brothers and sisters, Lord, who aren't afraid to lift each other up in prayer, Father. We've seen the fruit, Lord God. We pray for those who are constantly fighting every single day just to get up. Your papa gave more papa. Your papa gave swats and you want to grasp for your papa. You can't walk no more on the misery called your papa. You can't walk papa. Hey, the misery called you renouvelé chaque matin. You renouvelé. Hey, I grasp you. You renouvelé chaque matin. I cried to the Lord with my voice and He heard me from His holy mountain. Father, it's not us that's here, Lord, but You that's work inside of us. Because if walls could talk, they would spill all of our shame, all of our guilt before Your people, Lord God. Who are we? That you are mindful of us. Who are we, Lord? You care for us, Lord. We are dust, Lord, formed by the dust, and to dust we shall return once we take our final breath, Father. But Father, we have you, Father. You are our only hope. So send no gains, Senior. So can we lift all those who are going through those depressive thoughts, Lord God, in your presence, Lord? For those who are dealing with anxiety, who are dealing with fear, Father who are afraid in their moments, Lord, that's all of us. We all have different fears in our lives, different insecurities in our lives, Father. We pray for strength in this moment. Pray for strength, Lord. Who is the Lord God, the Lord mighty in battle? Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be lifted up, you everlasting doors. Father, oh, let's open up our eyes to you, Lord God. Who is the Lord, the Lord mighty in battle? You are mighty, Father. You are fighting for us right now, Lord God. Even when we don't understand, Papa, what we put Papa, who can be devant nous, Seigneur? Who parle pour nous, Papa? Même les nous pas comprendre, même les nous pas car ouvrir nous, Papa. Pour nous car ouvrir, Seigneur. Où la va brûler, Papa? Parce qu'on dit les miens, Papa. C'est pour nous. Oh yes, Seigneur. We are yours and you are ours, Father. Father, we run to you in this moment. Let us continue to run to you, Lord. Let us pursue you, Lord. God. And if we haven't, forgive us, Lord God, for being weak. Forgive us for being feeble-minded. Forgive us, Lord God, for not understanding, Lord the power that resides, Lord, in us through your Holy Spirit, Lord God. Forgive us for not being awakened, Lord, to your glory, Father God. Forgive us for wallowing in our debt so much that we can't even turn around and pray to you, Lord God. Father, we come to you right now, Lord God. Wash us, Lord God. Wash us, Lord God. Wash us. Make us new, Lord God. Make us new, Lord God. Let us worship you in spirit and in truth, Lord God. You said the true worshipers will worship in spirit and truth. Father, yes, it's good to lift up these songs of praise and adoration and shout to your glory, Lord God. But you care about what we do outside of these walls when we're not wearing our Sunday's best. That's what you're watching for. That's true worship, Lord God. Father, we need you, Lord. Now more than ever. 
Father, we need you in a, in a time, Lord God, where we're being tested every single day. We're being tempted every single time on our devices, on our computers, on our phones, on our TV screens. Living in a society, Lord, where temptation is paramount, Lord God. But Lord God, you're watching your children. You're watching our responses. Your mercies are renewed every day, but how will we respond to the mercy that you give us? How will we respond, Lord, to your grace? Shall we continue to sin so grace may abound by heaven's note? Oh, let's turn away from our evil desires. Let's turn away from our fleshly desires. Let's turn away from the temptations that have taken us, Lord, that have inhibited your praise, Lord, for too long. You said that we were bought at a price. That we were bought at a price. Then therefore we should glorify you in our bodies, with our bodies, Lord. You said to present our bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto you, which is our reasonable worship. Why? Because of Jesus. Because of who Jesus is. Because of what he did for us, dying on, our, dying on Calvary for our sins, Lord God. Father, who are we, Lord God? Again, that you are mindful of us, Lord. But you call us your friends. Your son called us your, his friends. So until our dying breath, let us, Lord, spread the goodness of the God. Of Isaac, Abraham, and Jacob. The God of David, the God of Ruth, the God of Esther, the God of Mary Magdalene, the God of all the disciples. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much. We worship you, Lord God. Let us lift your name up high above all the earth. You said if your name will be lifted up high above all the earth, you will draw all nations unto you, all people unto you. Lord, please be in the midst of our prayer, Lord God. We don't want to wear our Sunday's best and offer you vain prayer, Lord God. Offer you prayer, Lord God, that you don't receive, Lord, because it's strange fire unto you. Lord God, please accept our offering, accept our prayer, Lord God. Father, we thank you, Lord, for, our, for this church home of Nassau, Lord God. We have leaders, Lord God. We have the shepherd and our pastor, Lord God, who sees, Lord, young people hungering for you, thirsting for you, Lord, hungry and thirsty for righteousness and want to learn to know you more, Lord God. And here we are in this 1 p.m. service, Lord God. Father, be in our midst in this moment, Lord Transform our hearts. Transform it. Can no mama sa baba? I beat in the new launch, new papa. No mama sa baba. If I do, we no sin. No pack a fair baba. No pack a fair. Yeah, we can feel pleasure, Seigneur. Me a cause this Jesus Christ, baba. No, 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 Jesus Christ, Seigneur. No, come and no bad the bone, baba. No, come and no bad the presence of the Seigneur. S'il vous plaît, Seigneur, accept the offering, new Seigneur. Father, we worship you in this moment, Lord God. We lift your name in this moment, Lord God. You are worthy of our adoration, Lord God. We cast our diadems, our crowns at your feet, and we crown you Lord of all, Lord God. We crown you Lord of all. We worship you, Lord. Let us worship you, Lord. Even when we don't feel like it, Lord, let us sing a song knowing that you are in the middle of that song, Lord God. We thank you again for our elders, for the pastors of the church, Lord God. For the pastoral board, for the deacon body, Lord God, who was worshiping you, Lord, earlier today. They all came, Lord. The elders, the sisters, the missionaries, men and female, Lord, who are worshiping you today, Lord God. We worship you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. We worship you, Papa. We worship you, let us follow suit. Let us pursue you like we never could before. Like never before, Lord God. Father, we thank you, Lord God. We worship you again, Father. Father, we pray, Lord, for belief, Lord. We pray for relief, Lord God, in the midst of our suffering, Lord God. Father, we have missionaries who are in Haiti right now who are now been captive, who've been held abductive, Lord. They've been abducted, Lord God, spreading the message of the gospel, trying to reach out, Lord, to people who need food and water, Lord. We pray for our country, Haiti, Lord God. North Washington, you say, yeah. Political turmoil, political unrest, Lord. People dying, Lord. People being murdered. People being violated, Lord. People, Lord, being held against their will, Father. All kind of crimes, Lord, being done in your midst, Father. Father, we pray, Lord. Dio mo, Seigneur. Dio mo, pour Haiti, Seigneur. Dio mo, pour nous, Seigneur, Papa. Que yo kembe en prison, Seigneur, Papa. Nous connaissons, Wapla, Gayo, Seigneur. 
Même si tu es là, tu es passé, tu es là, tu es là, tu là, et puis on te prouve pour ne mettre ses pieds sur le nom de Jésus. On peut vous dire que nous sommes dans tout pays étranger, 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 dans tout le monde entier, dans tout le monde entier. Ils sont partout, Seigneur. Ils sont being persécutés pour vous, Seigneur. In South America, in Central America, in the Caribbean, Father. In Europe, Lord God. In Asia, Lord God. In the Middle East, Father. In Australia, Lord God. Just to hear the word of Jesus, Lord, comes mocking and laughter, Father. Because we say we believe in you, come the critiques. Because they don't know you the way we do, Father. They haven't experienced you the way we do, Lord. They haven't read your word the way we do. You put yourself into us, Lord God. Lord, we pray for more hunger, Lord, for more boldness, for more courage, Lord God. Here at Nassau, Lord God, that Nassau Youth Ministries, Lord, glorify you, Lord God, with every single breath in us, Lord God. Let's not be ashamed, Lord God, of the gospel. Let's not be ashamed, Lord, of the gospel, Lord God. For as the power to save all men, all people, all nations, all creeds, Lord God. We need you, Father. We need you. Father, show us your ways, Lord. Teach us how to worship you. Teach us on how to worship you, Lord God. Teach us how to lift up your name, Lord God. Teach us how to pray. Teach us how to move, Father. Let us get hungry, Lord, for you in ways we could never imagine, Father God. We pray for our young folks here, especially those, Lord, who are seeking you, Lord. Our young brothers and our young sisters, Lord God. Those, Lord, who made themselves, Lord, available to worship you, Lord. And you've opened the truth of the gospel to you, Lord, in love, Father God. There's no, better, there's no better thing, Lord, than to worship the Lord God. We thank you for them. We see the gifts, Father, in them, Lord. This being developed, Lord God, the seeds that you planted since last year, Lord, growing and growing and growing, God. Father, Lord, they're in the midst of fights and battles that we ourselves don't know, Father. Give them strength in this moment, God. Especially those Lord, who are baptized. Those, Lord, who took the plunge, Lord God, not too long ago. That you would keep our young brothers and sisters, Lord God. Because the world will throw everything at them, Lord, to make them stumble or to make them forget you, Father. So, Father, we intercede for them in this moment. We intercede for them in this moment, Lord. Can't be your senior. Let me tell you, Papa Leo, let God send you. Can't be your Papa Leo, like I have my Papa. Can't be your Father. There are children, Lord God, who don't know how to speak to their parents. There are children, Lord, who are at war with their parents. Lord, we pray for reconciliation, God. There are mothers and fathers who are at war with their children. We pray for reconciliation in this moment. Let healing take place today, Father. Let healing, Lord, take place today, Lord. Father, you reconciled us to you, Lord God. You made us new creatures in you, Father. You reconciled us to you, Lord, through your Son, Lord God. So we pray, Lord, in the spirit of reconciliation, Lord, the ministry of reconciliation, that reconciliation take place in the home, that husband and wives become one again, that brothers and sisters become one again, that parents, Lord, and children become one again, Lord God. So we can cry hallelujah, hallelujah. Worthy is the Lamb who was slain before the foundation of the world. And on your altar, Lord God, we hear the cry of the martyrs, Lord God. That you will avenge those, Lord, who will stand in the midst of persecution, God. For the time is near, the time is not. You are coming back, Lord God. But we respond in kind, Lord God. We see how this world is going. We see how this nation is moving. Moving further and further away from you. But as this nation and their leaders live further away from you, we pray for them, Lord God, that you will reconcile them back to you the way you sent Jonah to Nineveh and told them to repent. And you will send us to tell to our leaders, Lord God, and tell them to repent, Father. So in sackcloth and ash, Lord God, we can come back to you. He said, none of us are righteous, Lord. You know our hearts. Our hearts are wicked and full of deceit. Who can know it but you, the Lord, who pay every single thing, Father? Father, search every single chamber of our hearts, of our minds, Lord God. Burn everything that is not of you, O consuming fire. Burn everything, Lord, that is not of you, O King of kings. Burn everything that's not of you inside of all of us. 
so we can stand before you blameless, Lord, covered under the blood of Jesus the Christ. Yeshua HaMashiach, Lord God. And again, let's not offer up vain prayers, Lord God, like all the high priests during the times of Christ, Lord God. Offering up beautiful prayers and cries, but you receive none of it, Father. It means nothing to you because our hearts are far from you, Lord God. But you said, your son said, there was a servant who came in and tore his clothes quietly and said, Oh, Lord, I am a sinner. Forgive me. Let us be like that servant, Lord God, in the temple, Lord God. Jesus. You're our only hope. Who says, Sele Swanu Senior? When we want to turn away from you, you grab us back into your fold. Bind our wandering hearts to you, Lord God. You saw us like a stranger, Lord, wandering from your fold, wandering into the world to look at the pleasures of the world, to look at everything that they say is good for us, Lord, but leaves us empty inside. And when we feel empty, Lord, how many people do we know, Father? who are empty after trying things their way? How many people do we know that we've befriended who, who think they know it all, Father? But they're empty inside. They don't know, Father, what, they, what to do, Father, after they experience every single pleasure, Lord. Father, you refrain us, Father, because you know what's on the other side, God. Nothing but despair, hopelessness, fear, anxiety, Lord. Father, you're reeling us back in, Father, today. You're reeling us back in. You're reeling us back in, Lord, God. Father, please keep us, Lord, from making fatal mistakes, makes mistakes that we know that others have made, Lord, in times past. Father, it's out of love that you reign us in, Father. Let us stay within your love, Lord God. Let the youth of Nassau, Lord God, grace and mercy, Lord God, come together, Lord, and worship you. Our young adults come together, Lord. That sisterhood that we see, the brotherhood that we see, Lord God. Let us move, Lord, according to your spirit, Lord. Father, we pray, Lord, that we no longer grieve your Holy Spirit. There are certain things you want to do, Lord, inside of us, Lord. But because of a lack of faith, because of fear, Lord. Because, Lord, we tremble against things we shouldn't tremble against, Lord God. It's not activating us. The gifts aren't activating. The anointing isn't activating, God. Father, please, Lord, loosen our chains, Lord, and break our bonds, Lord, and give us a mentality to no longer desire things, Lord, that are contrary to your Holy Spirit, God. We worship you, Lord. We thank you. Please hear our hearts cry today. Let us be world changers, movers, Lord God, servants of the Most High God, ready, Lord, to worship, Lord, at a moment's notice to praise at a moment's notice to shout your name at a moment's notice to pray for those who are sick at a moment's notice to give food and shelter those who need it at a moment's notice because that's what your son did Lord God so let's imitate him let us imitate Lord the king who took our blame and our shame give us strength to say no because you say no Give us courage to say yes when you say yes. Let us turn our back from iniquity, from sinfulness, from pride, from anger, from lustfulness, from lash of viciousness, Lord. As it says in Ephesians 5, Lord God. Let us put on the armor, Lord God. Your armor, your heavenly armor. Then we have your word, Lord, as our weapon, Lord. We worship you, Lord. Let us worship you, Lord. Not just here, but when we leave here, in our homes, in our family members, when we're with our friends and our loved ones, those that we desire, Lord God, to build homes and futures with, Lord God. Pale papa, pale nanu, pale punu, senior. We worship you again, Lord God. Oh, there's no better name than the name of Jesus. There is no sweeter name than the name of Jesus. Let us no longer run from you, but run to you, God, and embrace you, Lord God. This is Saint Paul, who walk in this city, and bien content nous de venir avec nous et tourner ce lieu. This is Saint Paul, Papa, who walk in this city, who deliver notre malaise, Seigneur. Bien content, Papa, nous et tourner nos présences. Bien content, Papa, nous et chita, Papa. 
pour nous apprendre notre présence sur papa. Je vais vous adorer au Seigneur. Let us worship you again in spirit and in truth. We worship you, Lord. This is our heart's cry. We cry this in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Amen. I ask that you please stand with me as we read our common lecture. Nous voilà les lectures comme nous que nous jouons dans Corinthiens chapitre 10. We're going to read our common lecture in 1 Corinthians chapter 10. In Corinthians chapter 10, verse 1 to 13. 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 1 to 13. Balé pour nous en anglais. When you find it, say amen. Amen. 1 Corinthians chapter 10. Now, I want you to know, brothers, that our fathers were all under the cloud, all passed through the sea, and all were baptized into Moses in the cloud and in the sea. They all ate the same spiritual food and all drank the same spiritual drink, for they drank from a spiritual rock that followed them, and that rock was Christ. But God was not pleased with most of them, for they were struck down in the desert. Now these things became examples for us, so that we will not desire evil as they did. Don't become idolaters as some of them were. As it is written, the people sat down to eat and drink and got up to play. Let us not commit sexual immorality as some of them did, and in a single day 23,000 fell dead. Let us not tempt Christ as some of them did, and were destroyed by snakes. Nor shall we complain as some of them did and were killed by the destroyer. Now these things happened to them as examples and they were written as a warning to us on whom the ends of the ages have come. Therefore, whoever thinks he stands must be careful not to fall. No temptation has overtaken you except what is common to humanity. God is faithful, and he will not allow you to be tempted beyond what you are able. But with the temptation, he will also provide a way of escape so that you are able to bear it. The word of the Lord. Amen. You may be seated. Now we're going to collect our offering. I ask those who are responsible to collect the offering to please come on up. We want to sing a song that's very simple. It says, yes, you are the Lord, most high. Very, very simple song. Yes, you are the Lord, most high. 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 Yes, you are. Yes, you are the Lord, most high. Yes, you are the Lord, most high. Yes, you are the Lord, most high. Yes, you are the Lord. Yes, you are. Yes, you are the Lord. Most high. Yes, you are the Lord. Most high. Yes, you are. Yes, you are the Lord. Yes, you are. Yes, you are the most high. Yes, you are. Yes, you are the Lord most high. Yes, you are. Yes, you are the most high. Yes, you are. Yes, you are the most high. Yes, 
you are, yes you are the most high, yes you are, yes you are the Lord most high, yes you are, yes you are the Lord most high, yes you are, yes you are the Lord most high, yes you are, yes you One more time. Yes, you are. Yes, you are the Lord most high. Yes, you are. Yes, you are the Lord most high. Yes, you are. Yes, you are the Lord most high.
To the Lord cry out, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Let our King be lifted, let our King be lifted up, Hosanna. One more time, Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna. In the highest, let our King, let our King be lifted up. Oh, Jesus, you be lifted. Jesus, you, Jesus, you be lifted in all the earth. Lord, be lifted. Jesus, you, Jesus, you be lifted. Be lifted. Lord, be lifted. Jesus, you, Jesus, you be lifted. Lord, be lifted. Jesus, you, Jesus, you be lifted. Be lifted. Lord, be lifted. Jesus, you, Jesus, you be lifted. Be lifted. Lord, be lifted. We worship you. Jesus, you be lifted. Be lifted. Lord, be lifted. Oh, Jesus, you, Jesus, you be lifted. Be lifted. Lord, be lifted. Jesus, you, Jesus, you be lifted. Be lifted. Lord, be lifted. Lord Jesus, you, Jesus, you be lifted. Be lifted. Lord, be lifted. Jesus, you, Jesus, you be lifted. Be lifted. Be lifted. Jésus, nous te levons. Jésus, nous te levons plus haut, plus haut, nous te levons plus haut. Jésus, nous, Jésus, nous te levons plus haut, nous te levons plus haut. Jésus, nous, Jésus, nous te levons plus haut. Jésus nous, Jésus nous te levons, nous te puons, nous te levons, que le roi soit glorifié nous, Jésus nous te levons, nous te levons, nous te levons, 
Jésus nous, Jésus nous t'élevons. Nous t'élevons. Oui, nous t'élevons. Oui, Jésus nous, Jésus nous t'élevons. Nous t'élevons. Nous t'élevons. Oui, Jésus nous, Jésus nous t'élevons. Yes, Jesus, you, Jesus, you be lifted, be lifted, Lord, be lifted, Jesus, you, Jesus, you be lifted, be lifted, Jesus, Jesus, you. Jesus, you be lifted, be lifted, Lord, be lifted, Jesus, you, Jesus, you be lifted, be lifted, be lifted, let our King, let our King be lifted. Let our King be lifted up. Let our King be lifted. Let our King be lifted up. Let our King be lifted up. Hosanna. Hallelujah. 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 We lift up your name, oh God, hallelujah. There is no other name, Lord God, hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are the name above all names, hallelujah. You are who you are, hallelujah. 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 You are our king, hallelujah. Let's bow our heads for prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much, Lord God, that through all the trouble, through all the strife, malgré misère, Seigneur, malgré tout nous, Papa, malgré tout ça n'a pas passé dans la vie, Seigneur, nous gagnons, Papa, en parmi nous. You are in our midst, Lord God. Lord, till our dying day, let us lift up your name, Lord. Let our King be lifted up. You are the King of Kings, Lord God. You are the Lord of Lords, Father. At this point, is repetition, Lord, giving you your names that you've already bestowed yourself, Lord God. But Father. See our praise, Lord God. Inhabit the praise of your people in this moment, Lord God. Father, those, Lord, who are able, Lord, to contribute, Lord, into the offering, unto the tithes, Lord God. Father, we pray for those, Lord God. Knowing that you will, Father, expound upon it, exponentially increase it, Father. So your work can be done throughout all the work. We already pray, Lord, for our missionaries, Lord, who are held in captivity. We know you will free them in the name of Jesus. We pray for those, Lord, who are out there doing your work right now as we're talking. We have people, Lord, going around telling others about Jesus as we are congregated here, Lord God. We pray for them, Lord God, that we may assist them any way we can, Lord, by the means that you've blessed us with, Lord God. Father, we thank you again, Lord. We pray for those, Lord, who aren't here today, Father, that you will watch over them, Lord God. We pray for, for all the missionaries, all your churches, Lord God. Those whom you've called, Father, that you recognize, Lord God. And we pray, Lord, that this church will be among your number, Lord God. Father, now's the time to hear your word. Father, we pray, Lord, that you open the eyes of our hearts so we can see you and hear you clearly, Lord God. That the servant who's come, Lord, to bring forth your word, Father God, is ready, Lord, to speak on your behalf. But it's not him speaking, but it's you, Lord, using him as your special instrument, Father, to teach us, Lord, to preach unto us, Lord, your gospel, which saves, Lord, every man. And we thank you again, Father. Let your name be lifted up above all the earth, Lord God. 
above all circumstances, above all storms, above all persecutions, above all trials, above all triumphs, Lord God. There's no name that can even come close to the name of Jesus. And we pray, Lord, that that is our song now to our dying breath, Father. So again, open the eyes of our hearts so we can see and hear you clearly, Lord God. So we can again digest your word. So we ourselves, Lord, can worship you, Lord, for you are worthy of our praise, Lord. And none can, we can't worship, Lord, without you, Lord God. Receive it, Lord God. Let's receive it, Father, in this moment. We bless your name, Lord, and we thank you for this. We ask this humbly in Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Without further ado, the servant with the word of the Lord, our brother Mishla Ipoli. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. Uh, I thank God. I thank God. Merci. Parce que le bon opportunity pour capable parler ensemble avec nous. Et dans ce message, pour nous capable parler bon Dieu gloire, louange que les mêmes seuls méritent. Et nous souhaiter que le moment que vous êtes passé dans les chants lecture qui était faite et prière qui était faite. Nous te jeune quelques mots de réconfort et nous souhaiter que qu'il y a là bon Dieu pour parler avec nous, on a prié bon Dieu pour bon Dieu capable de prendre première place. Et puis comme ça nous capable de faire tout ça que les mêmes les demandé pour moi faire. Et je dis merci avec euh, et l'administration ou du moins le comité de l'église là qui ba nous opportunité pour nous capable de prêcher pour nous même et nous voulons nous remercier et nous tout qui là qui est avec moi qui parle tant les paroles bon Dieu en même temps nous voulons saluer tout uh, frère nous avec ce nous qui soit dans Facebook ou bien dans YouTube ou bien dans téléphone ligne qui t'a écouté nous et nous souhaiter que moment ça nous va passer nous va passer lui en bien et c'est réellement un privilège pour moi capable là et moi et prends ça très sérieux et moi prends ça comme une faveur que bon Dieu fait moi qui me pas mérité donc euh, nous va prier bon Dieu comme frère et président de Gaétan prier pour nous et donc nous nous croyons que bon Dieu a ouvert l'esprit nous pour nous capable comprendre qui ça parole bon Dieu veut pour le partager avec nous aujourd'hui et dernièrement, moi, j'ai prêché bon, ici à là, nous t'ai parlé, nous t'ai essayé de faire une comparaison entre pauvres et riches et puis monde qui heureux avec monde qui malheureux. Et nous t'ai parlé de monde qui pauvre, c'est une série de monde qui gagne, une série de bagailles que um, que yo manqué. Yeah, last time we spoke, uh, we had the opportunity to be here, we spoke about um, people who are rich or people who are poor and people who are actually sad or so people who are actually happy. And um, today we are going to touch on this topic that is, to me, I feel like it's very important for us as Christians. Je vais parler de un sujet que nous pensons que c'est très important pour nous-mêmes comme étant chrétiens pour nous capable de prendre ça au sérieux. Le topic que nous avons pour aujourd'hui là, c'est relation gay ensemble avec Jésus Christ. Uh, the topic that we have today, it's about relationship that we have with Christ. And um, many times, nous, en pile fois, nous uh, toujours pensé que le nous gain relation avec un monde et le nous connaît mon. Et, et très souvent, puisque nous connaît mon nom, si loin loin mon nom, ou gain en tendance pour le, ou apprendre une nouvelle ou bien l'autre de un bagaille, parfois c'est dans la bouche de l'autre monde ou attendre, bien que vous pensez ou connaissez le monde. Mais très souvent, ce n'est pas ça lié. In, in, over here, in the English in speaking, they always say there was a difference between acquaintance and somebody who is a friend. And the acquaintance is someone that you know about, somebody who is in at, uh, is at work or in school, that you don't consider that person as a friend, 
but you know that person. But a friend is someone that you spend time to, someone that you talk to, someone that you can be um, accustomed to. Um, but I would like for you to open your Bible with me in John chapter 15. We're going to read only one verse. John chapter 15, verse 7. And I would like to do it from verse 4, but since the topic will be around verse 7, and we're just going to read verse 7. Um, puisque je dis à nous pour regarder dans nous pour lire ensemble avec vous dans Jean chapitre 15 le verset 7 et nous t'a voulu lire verset début verset 4 là mais puisque sujet là la prêter seulement sur verset 7 là donc nous pour lire seulement pour verset 7 là et il dit comme ça um, Jean chapitre 15 John chapitre 15 verse 7 If you abide in me and my word abide in you you shall ask what you want and it shall give it shall be given to you it shall be done to you um now version française now Jean chapitre 15 il dit comme ça si vous demeurez en moi et moi en vous Demande, demande, um, bon, me pour, si vous demeurez en moi et, et que mes paroles demeurent en vous, demandez ce que vous voudrez et cela vous sera accordé. Et tout ce que vous besoin, si vous mettez vous rester dans bon Dieu et puis vous rester dans la parole bon Dieu, vous demandez tout ce que vous besoin et puis la parole. Um, Très souvent, I always, uh, very often, I always love to address my sermon to the youth. And I always wanted to reiterate it to the older people, the other elders, um, for people who are more adult than the youth, that not because that I'm mentioning that the youth, it does not apply to you. Because the Bible says by itself, it says, Let's the, let the children of God, let the children come to me, for those who resemble them, the kingdom of God will be for them. So, pendant que ma parle de jeunesse, nous pas mettez grand monde à côté, parce que la Bible dit nous comme ça. Bon Jésus Christ a parlé dit qu'il était si monio vient jouer moins, parce que royaume moyen c'est pour monde qui semble avec si monio. Et ça me qu'on apprend de ça, c'est que Si moun gen tendance pour obéir et nan parole bon dieu pa gen ni ti moun ni grand moun tout moun ou doit obéir sa bon dieu dit et moi konn essayer appliquer ça ensemble avec ti moun moi moi di yo que ou pas obéir lò fin comprendre nos bagaille lò fin comprendre nos bagaille c'est pas le ça obéir ou kwè moun ki di li a et puis obéir même lò pas comprendre ni Avec ça, ou montrer un sens d'obéissance que ou quoi dans mon nom. Et le de même pour bon Dieu. Jeune ou grand monde, ou doit obéir bon Dieu, même l'on pas comprendre qui ça bon Dieu veut dire. Du moment que c'est dans la Bible sorti, ou doit appliquer. Donc, l'important li pour moi-même ensemble avec nous, quoi dans ça bon Dieu dit nous. Là, nous voyons que bon Dieu dit qu'on ça et que si nous rete dans moi-même et que parole moi habité dans ou même tout ça ou mandé m'a baoul um i was when i was preparing the sermon i was um i was very very skeptical about what kind of um scenario can i use in 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 as i was going through it it came down to the understanding that I can use that illustration where it said, where do you live? Qui côté ou habite? Mais qui côté ou ta remé habite? Raison, c'est parce que mot et français, allez-y, demeure. Et si vous demeurez en moi et que mes paroles demeurent en vous, 
OK n'a pas camper là si ou habiter dans moi-même moi-même moi habiter dans moi-même on va tout ça besoin de ma parole et we know what's going on nowadays all over the world we see things are going on like crazy if we go back home we see what's happening in Haiti recently we saw what happened in there they, they kidnap like some um, American people, some people, missionary people, they kidnap them and they ask money that I think like even the people who ask for it can even count them, but they ask for significant amount of money. And I went, I came back to sit down and think about where people live. They, the impact that the environment has on those people who live in that neighborhood. Um, ma songe, ma pensée, comme si on sait qu'il de côté mon habité, qui j'en que côté ça a lui fait un impact dans la vie mon qui la donne. Exemple, on sait de Timoun, et Timoun y a qu'un temps qu'on est tout survival skills qui gagne depuis avant Timoun non, t'es même gagne dix ans. He knows exactly where to go. He knows exactly what's going on. He knows exactly when to do, what to do, and how to do. And that bring that child to this awareness that sometimes we even ask yourself, where does this child find all this knowledge? So I took that to put myself on the situation about where I live how it impacts me, how it, it changed my way of thinking. People who live in the area where they have a lot of crimes, that person has a tendency to want to have a gun. And when they are accustomed to it, they think that it's, up, it's, it's nothing to have a gun. They think that it's nothing, it's self-defense to just pull a gun and pull the trigger. And that tells me that many times when we sit, we see our children behave in certain ways, we will know that it's coming from somewhere that has an impact on this child. So, and like, it's like, vendredi soir, I'm going to say, pendant Frère Jerry, I'm going to explain to you that Gon série de Timoun très jeune. Donc on cap décidé pour tuer Tétio. 10 years old. Timoun 10 ans, 11 ans, 12 ans. And I went back in my days. 10 ans, 11 ans. Tout bac qui était intéressé, c'est jouette. You know even, on pas même connait qui ça, on pas même penser à la vie. You just live. But now you ask yourself, what is going on in this child's mind at 10 years old to want to kill themselves? What is going on? And the answer would be simple as that. It's the area, the environment, the neighborhood where the child lives that built this animosity in this child's life to make that child feel like my life doesn't even worth anything. So that will make me, make me understand that where you live does make a whole lot of difference of your mindset, your behavior, or your, or, or your attitude. So if I'm going back to the first part of this verse, verse 7, it says, If you, si vous demeurez en moi, that means, if you abide in me. Okay, how does that, what does that mean, if you abide in me? What it really means is that you will cast all your burden because you are in Christ. Because you are in Christ, he makes provisions for you that you don't have to worry about a lot of things. That makes it a lot easier for me. If there was a problem, I can just cast it out to God in prayer. 
So, l'homme vini m'a regardé ça la Bible dit là. Il dit si moi demeurer dans bon Dieu, dans Jésus, si moi demeurer la donne. OK? Gien une série de exemples, gien une série de bagages que moi était qu'on penser. Moi pas penser encore parce que il dit dans 2 Corinthiens chapitre 5. Il dit comme ça que si moi vini dans Christ, qu'il y a là moi vini une nouvelle créature. Les choses anciennes sont passées. Donc, because I'm in Christ, I'm a new creature. The old thing has gone and the new has come. Now, why does he say that si vous demeurez? C'est en condition. It means that I was in a situation, I was in a position, I live a certain way, I was, I was in a neighborhood, a certain neighborhood, that is contrary to the neighborhood that is offering me. That's what he says, if you dwell in me. So this is what you will get. So, what does happen here? Again, young people, I'm reaching out to you. Okay? As young people, I know you have a lot going on. When I say a lot, I know there's a lot going on that really does have those things that come in life really, really, really trouble you some, some, sometimes. I was putting a few things that I think like a lot of young people are going through. First of, first of all, first of all, first of all, we are thinking about family issues. Premier bag I'm pensé, c'est problème si mon yo gagne na famille. Problème yo gagne na famille, c'est que en pile là dedans yo et gagne un nan jeune nan jeune yo que me dit qu'on a parlé et Li fait me comprendre que parents nous yo talking about me though you was talking to me. Il dit parents nous yo problème mental là nous qui tant problème mental là depuis en Haïti. C'est ça que fait nous pas connait qui gens pour nous parler. Nous pas connait qui gens pour nous communiquer. On seul bagage nous connaît c'est on domain. On seul bagage nous connaît c'est prendre sandal là. On seul bagage nous connaît c'est coup de chaudière. Okay? They bring that the brought that to my attention. This is who you are, Frère Michel. All you do, Frère Michel, is yelling at me. All you do is cursing at me. All you do is slap me. All you do is beat me up. Okay? You don't communicate with me. So how can I tell you what I'm going through? Okay? So this is one of the biggest issues that the children, the youth has. Okay? The second thing is materialistic things. Things that they want and that that, that social media put so much before him, them that they go like a chicken without a head. Okay? Body image, right? Failure. Uh, uh, um, they want, they want, they want followers. And and everything that is being said today, they want to do it tomorrow. Lack of employment for those who are like in 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 the late teens. Wanted to have a job. They want to do things on their own. Okay? There is not enough for that. So they come with this pressure, peer pressure that they have. Environment, even inside the church. Okay? They are, they, they are in competition with one another. For the simplest thing. Même dans l'église, là, si vous n'avez pas compétition entre eux-mêmes. Donc, qui vient permettre que Yo vin by société a yon 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 autorité sou tèt yo that society took over their their mind to make them feel like okay you are not enough until i say that you are you not good enough until i say that you are good and the thing is they will you will never be good enough for them because there's always something else 
Et back in the days, we used to say, au gain de comme si, l'on pensait ou belle jeudi à mes dames. When you think you are so beautiful today, tomorrow you look to find another woman who is more beautiful. When you think, guys, you, you are so smart, when you look around, you look and you find somebody who is 10 times smarter than you. So the competition is endless. You put something new today, tomorrow, with the pair of sneakers, Jordan sneakers came tomorrow, today, and tomorrow a new one coming, next thing you know, this one is going to the, to, to the garbage, or they don't, they don't put them in the garbage anymore, but they sell them. But they buy it today, tomorrow they sell it, you know, and they buy something more expensive. So these are the things that, these are the challenges that the children, the youth are going through. And that stopped them from getting into that good relationship. So the topic that we talk about is the relationship. And this, I'm going, there's a few things that I put down and I'm going to try to make you understand. Now, Jesus Christ says, when he said, okay, if you dwell in me, in reality, Jesus Christ is asking you to be friend with him. Jesus Christ wants you to know who he is. He is willing, he's able and waiting for you. He is saying, if you decided to for me to stay with you, to be with you wherever you are. Okay? Ask me anything, and it will be given to you. So in asking anything, it will be given to you. You have to allow the word to dwell in you. But since we have the tendency of trying to find solutions to our own problems, Instead of going to God, okay, most of the young people, well, they so when I say young people, I mean Gamuntu, okay, instead of going to God, they're going to drugs, they're going to alcohol, okay, they're going to, to somebody else who is not a Christian to have solutions to their problems. While God He's inviting you. God is telling you, if you come with me, if you allow me to be in your life, ask me anything and everything, and I will give it to you. So, this is where we have problems. We are all here, we are all Christians. Most of the times, our Christianity is only on when? When? Sunday. Thank you. Okay? But since your Christianity is on Sunday, when you come on Sunday, you come to follow the rules. Because if you are worshiping God, you must worship God Everywhere. Jesus Christ says, well, when Jesus Christ says, well, you tell me, it's so much that you can pray for me. No. When you pass on to you, you can pray for me. You can't 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 pray for me. So, worshiping God or, 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 or have a relationship with God is not on Sunday. It's every day. It's every day. So I'm looking at these things here. It says, following Jesus Christ is taking into account his teaching, not the rules. Is to apply his teaching, meaning his word. That is why the second part of that verse, it says, Si et et que mes paroles demeurent en vous. Ok? Et que mes paroles demeurent en vous. Like, my word is with you. Not coming here and picking up at the door while you come in 
and you open it and use it. And when you leave the door, you leave it here and you keep going. Okay? It's there with you all the time. So, the comparison here, comparison que moi fais, c'est entre, entre l'église, moun qui vient l'église avec moun qui chrétien. Churchgoers and Christians. If you are a churchgoer, you go to church every Sunday. But if you are a Christian, you are a Christian every day. Okay? Si si c'est si un church goer, you are in the church every Sunday. But if you are a Christian, you are a Christian every day. There is this expression that says, practice make what? Hmm? Let me hear again. Practice make what? Okay. So if you come to church on Sunday, you take all the, theory and all the theories on Sunday, and you never practice it throughout the whole week, what will happen to you next Sunday? It's a, it's, it's a perpetual repetition. You keep on repeating the same thing. So you will come to church on Sunday, you learn something, and tomorrow you forget it. And Sunday, when you come Sunday, I forgot what it was about. Can you remind me again? Because throughout the whole week, you will never a Christian. And the third one, is I must say, exactly me, me, the Christian sa. Ou fait théorie la semaine, ou fait théorie dimanche, l'église, ou une église dimanche, ou fait théorie dimanche. Sous ces chrétiens chaque jour, sous ces chrétiens ou chrétiens chaque jour. Et si vous êtes chrétien, vous avez une théorie à apprendre du dimanche, vous avez pratiqué chaque jour. So this is the whole idea. So now, what does it do to you? Everybody knows that verse. Romans chapter 12, verse 2. Okay, what does it say? Romans chapter 12, verse 2. Okay? Je vais encourager vos frères avec ce soeur. Je ne sais pas ça le dit. Hmm? Yes. Ok? Et puis verset 2 dit comme ça. Piga ou conforme ou aux choses présentes. Um, et I was reading in the, um, on my phone that people spend an average about 19 out of 24 hours on the phone. Okay? 19. An average about, about 19 hours out of 24 hours on the phone. Using the phone for whatever purpose. Okay? So... This is what God is telling us. I mean, I, even, I was even thinking about, I'm, I'm just saying that for the youth, to, that to, for you to understand where maybe at least my mind is coming, where my mind is at. Most of the time you deem, okay, I'm going to have an app on the telephone, so I'm going to have the app, right? True, sure, true, sure you have the app. It is good to have that. There's no problem with that. But while... You, the difference between the, the device and the Bible is that while you're on a device, you are reading your Bible, there was a text that came in. You got to answer. Disturbance. You understand? While you're on the phone, okay, there was something else that pop up. Okay? That even if you are alone in this room, you're automatically going like this. Do you understand? So, this whole thing that I was saying earlier as far as you being connected with society, with being connected with social media, being connected with all of these things that you are seeking after, that is not going to bring anything to your spiritual life. Okay? 
These things deter you from dwelling or remaining in the word of God. Yes, I'm going to take your position. I want to read the Bible with my, in the app. Moi, je veux l'île. Moi, j'ai tout, tout désir pour moi l'île. Pendant ma l'île, madame, moi, je veux un texte. Bon, moi, mon texte fait mal. Ou bien, petit, moi, c'est mon texte, moi, non accident. Bon, Dieu, calme. Bon, sous quatre textes, moi, pendant non accident, moi, j'ai été déjà libéré avec accident. Ou pas tout mourir là-dedans. Si ou quatre textes, moi, pour dire ça, bon, Dieu, tu es en tête déjà. Parce que tu es en mourir. Do you understand that? So, my encouragement for you is while you can use this, please take the physical Bible and spend some time with God. We all, we all, pas grand monde qui pas qu'à vivre sans relation. Everybody, you, you, comme si relation par an, comme tu as dit ça même relation dans neighborhood là li important dans la vie because he shaped the way you think okay you might think you might not think it as a relationship but it is a relationship the one when when it is one this when you don't acknowledge that it is a relationship then anything that happened you will be so shocked to see it happening but it's very important to understand everything. Like um, the, the, the youth, we, we, we were doing a seminar like everything ship. Okay? To make it understand. Yeah, your family is, your, is, is a relationship. Your brother is a relationship. Your neighbor is a relationship. Your school is a relationship. Like Pastor was preaching earlier today. You know, when you are at work, you have all kind of people. While you're in this room, whatever you're in a meeting with them, you're sitting next to them. Okay? So, it is a relationship. But what do you, what kind of relationship that you allow to have an impact in your personal life? So, Jesus Christ is telling us we need to have a relationship with him. He offers him to you. To say, I am here. I'm waiting. If anybody knock, I will enter. I will answer. If you call on my name, I will be there for you. Ask me anything. Just dwell in my word. I'm with you. Ask me anything. I will give it to you. And I'm telling you, there is nothing better than having peace of mind. There is nothing better than fall asleep while you're reading your Bible. For those who don't like reading the Bible, believe me, if you have a sleeping problem, just take the Bible and eat. Before you know it, you'll fall asleep. You see, people are, some, some preachers, they will say, well, it is like the devil thing. You know, if you're taking the Bible, you're reading, you're praying, you, you feel asleep. Well, I, I, I don't know about that. But if you do have a sleeping problem, okay, before you even finish reading it, believe me, you will sleep like a baby. Okay? So these are, these are the little, little tiny things that you and I, we don't pay attention to them. We don't include God in them. That most of the times, this little thing, they, they can pile up. And that is why we have problems. Little things, little things that have been adding up that become a mountain. Ti bagay tout petit yo ki grandi et puis yo min fond montagne. Donc c'est ça qui est important pour même ensemble avec vous reconnaître l'importance qui gagne lors d'une relation ensemble avec Christ. Donc, toute l'idée, toute l'idée nous même qui là, nous vini là, tout qui vini là, faut me faire nous connaître que nous vini là, c'est parce que nous besoin d'une relation ensemble avec bon Dieu. Si vous êtes là pour les pour les amis, non. Non, ou pas, vous venez là ou déplacer pour qu'on puisse attendre un bagage qui pour mettre plus près ensemble avec bon Dieu. C'est tout. Donc, livre très, très, très important. Et, et bon, petit problème que nous gagnons, 
Si nous ne pouvons pas parler avec moi dans Marc, dans Marc chapitre, chapitre 10, c'est une histoire qu'on s'est passée. Ok? Pour. Et frère avec ça. Il y a Marc chapitre 10, verset 17. Marc chapitre 10, verset 17 à 22. 17 à 22. Mark chapter 10. I'm going to read it in French for you. Okay. Well, it was it was a uh, it was a parable or a story about a young rich man. Okay? That young rich man, monsieur l'alco de Jésus, il dit bon Jésus comme ça. Um, what should I do to uh, inherit to, to 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 get eternal life? Okay, and Jesus Christ enter into that will the conversation with him. Okay, and Jesus Christ started saying, "Well, you know, follow the rules, right? Okay, the rules are. Let me go in there and see for you. Um, he did." Comme Jésus était dans un chemin, un homme a couru et jetant à genoux devant lui, bon maître, lui demanda-t-il, que dois-je faire pour hériter la vie éternelle? Jésus lui répondit, pourquoi m'appelles-tu bon? Il n'a pas le bon que Dieu seul. Tu connais le commandement, c'est vous dire. Tu ne commettras point d'adultère, tu ne tueras point. Tu ne débouilleras point, tu ne diras point de faux témoignages et tu ne feras tort à personne, honore ton père et ta mère. Il lui répondit, maître, j'ai observé toutes ces choses dès ma jeunesse. Il faut te grimper là. You remember at the beginning, I mentioned to you the fact that when we come to church, if we are not a Christian in our daily lives, when we come to church, we come to follow the rules. You remember that? Okay? So, this is what's happening here with that young man. That young man come, let's pretend that Jesus Christ was having a service. Okay? Jesus Christ was having the service and he was there. And that young man, as you were talking, that young man come in front and God and say, God, I want to have, you know, eternal life. And Jesus Christ, as most of you know, Jesus Christ would come down and start asking this man questions. You know, you should not do this. You should not do that. You know, now you're a Christian. You should not do this and that. And then that young man said, well, since I was born, I was doing these things. Okay? But this is us. Since we were born, we've been following the rules. Okay? That we must wear the tie. We must have the Bible. We must you know, dress properly to make believe that, okay, we are as holy as we can be. Right? And Jesus said, well, he looked at him, in verse 21, and he, he looked at him in a loving way. And, and, and then he asked him, there was one thing There is one thing that you are left to do. That one thing, that one thing was what defined that young man. Okay? Jésus qui dit, mais il y a un bagage pour faire. Mais bagage ça, c'est ça qui te dit, nest ça, tout ça lié. Parce que monsieur était qui ça? Monsieur était riche. Monsieur était riche. Ok? Now, c'est moi même ensemble avec vous. We are here, we're following the rules, we think we do things. But when Christ is asking you to offer yourself as a living sacrifice, you tend to have 
all the excuses there is in the book. And this is what happened to that young man. That young man, Jesus Christ said, well, you know what? Take everything that you have and share it with everybody else. You know what that means? To me, it means that he was so proud of himself of being rich. Okay? That he could not have any connection with anybody. Because to him, he felt like he was self-sufficient. Okay? You know, when I say self-sufficient, on se le croit qu'on lit des gon nom gain on nom moderne en tête moi. On va vous en dire parce que m'a voulu venir là. But okay. Okay? He felt like he was so, so self-sufficient that he turned away from Jesus Christ and he left very sad. Because he did not want to let go what made him who he is. Now, for you, my brother and my sisters, what is it that's in your life? That you can come to church, follow all the rules, follow all the discipline. That if God was to ask you to give it away, what would you do? What would you do? For you young people, I would say, the, the, the statistic said, you spend over at least 18 hours. One minute from your, without your phone, you go crazy. One minute. But if God was to ask you to give up your phone, what would it be? If God was to ask you to stop your drinking, if God was to ask you, and they would know there's nothing impossible to God, right? If God was to tell you, Give up the music that you are listening to. What would you do? Would you turn away sadly and can continue to do that? Or you consider yourself as that being a living sacrifice that God has given you? To my kito no verse this the now, Romans chapter 2. Piga ou conforme ou nan siek prison sa. Me plutôt transforme ou. Me past, comme pasteur. Chaque fois que je me souviens de passer ça, on l'a dit après dans la retraite, il t'a prêché pour nous. Il m'a dit nous pour nous capables spirituellement intelligents. Et ça avait ces deux adieux là, oui. Soyez transformés par le renouvellement de l'intelligence. Let us be spiritually smart. Along all these things that you do, please read your Bible so that the Word of God can dwell in you and that it will lead you to the right path. It will lead you to the right direction. It will lead you to the plan that He has for you. And definitely, it will lead you to eternal life. May God bless you all. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
Uh, we thank the Lord for the word that was brought forth to here today.